Today we're going to fit Marsh Brothers AeroTough Grease-Free Bearing Kit to the nose gear doors of this 1969 vintage V35 Bonanza. The existing steel bushings have worn the aluminum hinge arms. And overall, there's too much play in the hinge joint. First, we must remove the two doors by taking the hinges from the airframe structure. It's a simple job and once the doors are off, they should be cleaned and checked for damage. Then, remove the hinge arms from the doors, noting their position. With the steel bearing clamped between the structural members, anywhere in the joint is going to be in the soft hinge arm. With our kit, we will eliminate the possibility of this happening again by taking the hinge arm bore out to a slightly larger clean diameter suitable for the AeroTough grease-free bushing. First, we mount the hinge arm on the drill press bed and clamp it in position and using the smaller 9 64 inch drills centered in the existing hole. Do not drill these holes with a hand drill. Then, change bits to the brand new 5 16 inch drill provided in the kit and drill the larger hole. This will be the proper size to give the AeroTough grease-free bushing its correct interference. Press the bushing into the bar using a C-clamp so the bushing is squarely aligned with the bore. The bush length is the same as the thickness of the hinge arm. Test the fit of the stainless steel sleeve in the bushing bore. It should be a sliding fit. It should also be slightly longer than the bushing. When assembled, the sleeve will be clamped and prevented from turning. Any future wear will be only on the inner surface of the AeroTough grease-free bush. Reinstall the doors and fit the new hardware with washers. Torque the nuts to the recommended 60 inch pounds. Before connecting the retract extend rods, make sure the doors move freely. If it's necessary to rig the doors, you'll do it according to the manual. If you wish to lubricate these bushings, you can, but it's not necessary. The AeroTough grease-free material is compounded with an internal lubricant. Also, there is no possibility of corrosion on the stainless sleeve, so this should be the last time you'll have to attend to these hard to access bearing points.